Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8 -Bit Eric. Welcome back to the channel. How are you doing? Happy Saturday. We're going to talk about an update to this Metal Gear Solid rumor that we saw the other day. So the other day we talked about a Twitter post that kind of teased that Konami was going to be doing something with Metal Gear Solid. And then on top of that, they did a trademark on Metal Gear Rising and a Castlevania game. So now there's some more stuff into this we're going to keep an eye on this developing story in the meantime so if you don't want to miss out if you want to keep up to date if you want to have a place to kick the breeze and shoot the shit with why don't you hit that subscription button so let's go ahead and begin metal gear solid remake might be happening according to solid snake voice actor so check this out this is from solid snake himself all right so rumors of a next gen remake of metal gear solid have recently started to gain traction as leakers have suggested that a remake of the original PS1 game as well as subsequent entries in the series might be in the works. And this has been going on for some time. We just talked about one literally the other day with some trademarks. Now, these rumors have now been given even more validity as Solid Snake voice actor and series staple David Hayter has confirmed via his industry sources that the project may actually be in the works. So this is coming from Solid Snake himself. Who more reliable than that? Speaking in an interview with Dan Allen Gaming, Hater said that he'd heard rumors about the project before leakers started to suggest a remake was in development. So he's heard rumblings about the project from leakers. Before the leakers, actually. Now, however... Hater did not make clear that even his confirmation from sources was still a rumor with no concrete answer as to whether or not the project is in development. But this adds another layer of credibility to what is becoming an increasingly likely rumor, especially with the amount of talk around what's going on with the Metal Gear Solid franchise. So this mentions what we talked about earlier. So recently, the official Twitter account for the series recently posted a number of cryptic tweets responding to a seemingly in-universe account. So this is like an employee of whatever laboratory it was. He was saying that he missed a meeting or something. I don't know if you guys remember seeing that. I covered the video just the other day. It was kind of like tongue-in-cheek, really funny, breaking the fourth wall just a little bit. Um, and although these tweets primarily reference the second game in the series, Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty. So... It's still something Metal Gear related that caught the attention of lots of people of the series. And that's why people have their eye on it. And then not to mention that trademark that popped up for Metal Gear Rising that I mentioned. Um, again, let's not keep our hopes, let's not get our hopes too high. Again, let's remember, this is Konami that we're talking about. For all we know, these guys could all of a sudden just make a Metal Gear Pachinko machine or some Metal Gear mobile game and <laughs> our hopes will go from up here and just be completely shattered. So we don't want to get ahead of ourselves here. So remember, this story is 100% a rumor. Even from David Hayter's side, it's a rumor, so take it with a grain of salt. But it's still cool to sit here and speculate and wish, you know, some of these franchises that Konami had way back in the day would be brought back to light. Now, continuing on with this, Yet another rumor surfaced recently regarding new content in the MGS universe, supposedly outlining a new collection coming to PS5. According to a leaker on 4chan, so this is 4chan, we all know how that goes, um, the new collection will contain remasters of Metal Gear Solid The Twin Snakes, Metal Gear Solid 2 Substance, and Metal Gear 3, Solid 3 Substance. Substance. <laughs> I'm tongue-tied today. With a remastered Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots available separately. So let's go ahead and take a look. I believe this is going to take us to the game leaks and rumors. Um, yeah, so you can see even right here, anybody could po post on 4chan. So again, this even says take with a massive grain of salt. Obviously, this seems pretty believable. And a lot of people post nonsense on Reddit as well. So anybody can make this thing right here. So... You can see this is predicting a Metal Gear Solid collection in September for PS5, and the collection will be split in two. That's interesting. And of course, Twin Snakes, Metal Gear Solid 2, Metal Gear Solid 3, and then 4 is getting a remaster separately, can be bought with the collection or by itself on the PS Store. 
There'll be a physical collection with three games on disc and a code to download four. These are just ports with better graphics. Don't expect any HD rumble or haptic feedback implemented. Remastering MGS4 has been a nightmare, but they expected it to be. So it's completely bare bones in terms of extra. So this is saying it's just a remaster. No HD stuff, no PS5 DualSense feedback. Like Legacy Collection, expect MG1 and MG2, but don't expect the skateboarding mini game or the dream sequence. Not sure why Peace Walker has been left out. If I had to guess, it's to create a clean collection of 1 through 4, plus one less game to worry about. And you can see people really talking about it. They're not even knowing if uh, it's going to come to Switch or not. So this this seems like it's not out of the realm, honestly. If you think about it, um, but going on, this goes on to say, although this leak, like others surrounding the franchise, is not backed up by any evidence, it's looking increasingly likely that some sort of mass remaster or remake project is truly in progress. And it, again, it's not completely out of the realm. It's not completely out of the window, uh, especially with all this weird coincidences and evidence piling up. It seems like it could happen, all right? It's not completely out the window. Um, retro is in. Bundles are in. People are bringing back ports and remasters of stuff because it's just... I mean, look at what Nintendo did with the Mario 3D All-Stars and Mario 3D World. And Nintendo is also bringing Skyward Sword back. And it's just the thing to do. Dedicated fan bases to some of these huge franchises brings easy money in. And with... Um, you know, the social climate today with the pandemic, maybe it's easier just to do a quick remaster or a port where not too many people have to develop anything. You just kind of do a texture and graphics upgrade. I don't know. I don't develop video games, but to me, it seems like an easy way to um, satisfy fans of certain franchises, to satisfy uh, video game libraries, to satisfy releases when there's a lot of hard times around you know with people developing games and stuff so you absolutely don't know what's going to go on um i'm going to lean even though this is 100 percent a rumor and nothing's been confirmed i'm going to lean towards this being true um i'm going to say this is probably going to happen that's just my hunch my speculation on it it'd be cool to have a, a legacy collection with the first four games um i'll definitely buy it and check it out so I'm going to leave it right there, guys, for you guys to check out, to talk about. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Subscribe if you haven't already, guys. Help get me to 84.4K. We just hit 84.3. So if you're not subscribed for whatever reason, you have no earthly excuse. <laughs> Anyways, have a good day, guys. Y'all take care.